Salut, bonjour, comment ça va Ça va bien, merci. Nous continuons, nous continuons avec la leçon 24. Continuons avec la leçon 24. Compris, compris, understood. Let's continue with the lesson 24. What did you learn in the previous lesson? Ilia. Ilia and EAU ending nouns. X will be the uh, plural. Okay, Ilia. There is there are. And three forms we learnt in the previous class. Here we are going to learn of what is the scale? Of what is the scale? Of what is the scale made of? Of what is the wall made of? Okay, it's made up of stone. It's made of wood. Right? Ankua and kumbiyanda. One more question. Kumbiyanda. Kumbiyanda means how many? How many? Write down the meanings. Ankua ye. That's a question. Ankua ye. Of what is the notebook? Clear? Of what is the notebook made of? That's understood. Of what is the notebook? The notebook is made of paper. The notebook Instead of the notebook, I have written the pronoun il. It. It. Il. Il yeton papier. Il yeton. This on takes the sound of this t. This t. On becomes tan. Tan. Il yeton papier. Tell me the meaning. It is of paper. It is of paper. It is made of paper. Clear? Very simple. Simple. So let me repeat once again. Of what is the notebook? It is made of or of paper. En quoi? En quoi? En quoi est le mur? Il est en pierre. It is made of stone. En quoi est le banc? Il est en bois. Bois. It is made of wood. Bench. En quoi est l'encrier? New vocabulary. Ink bottle. Ink. Ink bottle. L'encrier. Il est en verre. It is made of Glass. En quoi est la robe? Of what? Of what is the dress? Frock. Elle est en netof. Yetof, that becomes netof. It takes the sound of this yen. Netof. En quoi est la robe? Elle est en netof. En quoi est la clé qui Elle est en fer. Iron. En quoi est la serviette School bag. Elle est en cuir. Cuir. Leather. So this is paper. This is stone. Wood. Glass, cloth, iron, leather. Let me repeat once again. Pronounce it me. Ankua ye la kaye. Il le tam papie. See here I have written il, here I have written al. Why? Because 
lakaye la myu la bank langhe masculine singular so it la ho la kle la fiat feminine singular so add it is made of it is made of it is made of it is made of okay repeat aankhwa ye lakaye repeat of what is the notebook illa tam papie papie aankhwa ye la myu il le tam pierre pierre aankhwa ye la bank il le tam bois not bois bois aankhwa ye la khie il le tam ver ver aankhwa ye la robe Elle est en netov. Elle est en netov. Elle est en netov. En quoi est la clé? Elle est en fer. Elle est en fer. En quoi est la serviette? Elle est en cuir. This is simple. A few new vocabularies. Learn it. Now combien? Combien de mètres? How many? How many bags avez-vous? Our conjugation. You must remember who is away. You have away who in must have you. Do you have? Combien de bag of sack away who? Combien de sack away who? How many bags do you have, Monsieur, Sir, Sir? I have two bags. Okay, Sir, Sir. J'ai deux sacs. J'ai deux sacs. The question: How many bags do you have? Combien de sacs avez-vous, Monsieur? J'ai deux sacs. Sir, I sir, I have two bags. Next question: Combien de bank? How many benches? Yatil. What is yatil? Or there? Dans la chambre. In the chamber. In the room. In the room. Combien de bank? Yatil dans la chambre. How many bags? How many benches are there in the room? Mademoiselle, Miss, Miss, or Madame, Madam, Mademoiselle, Miss, Madame, Madam, Ilia. There are these bank da la chambre. There are ten benches in the room. Mademoiselle, Madame, Monsieur, I have. How many bags do you have? I have two bags. Combien de sacs avez-vous, Ma Madame, uh, Monsieur? J'ai deux sacs. Combien de bank? See, look at the construction. Combien de, combien de? How many? Combien de bank? Y a-t-il dans la chambre? How many benches are there in the room? Yatil, are there in the room? Mademoiselle, Miss or Madam, Ilia. There are ten benches in the room. Ilia, these bank da la chambre. Only this much. You go through this uh, again and again. Whenever you learn French through this video, try to pronounce it loudly. Then only the French pronunciation. Your vocal cord will get used to the pronunciation. It will get adjusted. Understand some new sounds, new sounds. Okay, now this is a series of test I would like to give you. Very simple. You need to spend ten minutes every day for this test alone. Test number one is on lesson number one. Pronounce the letters alphabet. Pronounce the alphabets loudly. Okay, go to the first lesson. Uh, watch at, with attention the pronunciation. Then try to pronounce. You need not write anything. Pronounce that uh, uh, alphabet loudly, and it carries twenty six marks. If you are satisfied with your pronunciation, give twenty six marks. At the end of ten tests, ten tests. This is test number one every day. Small small topics need to spend maximum ten minutes. Okay, twenty six marks. Uh, yeah, twenty-six marks. It's a series. It's a series of tests. I would like to conduct test number one. Anything else? That's all. And uh, yeah, 
this is only a pronunciation you need not write down anything okay so we'll meet in the next class till then au revoir au revoir adam come on tell me thank you